Microsoft Lens supports documents, contact cards and whiteboards. And it has some advanced features that we'll cover in this video. So let's begin. First things first, download it and open it. We need to go through the permissions and stuff. Tap here and then accept the privacy statement. If you want to send optional data to Microsoft, you can do so here. Let's close it. Lastly, allow the camera permission to take photos. This is what it looks like. Down the bottom are the supported formats. We also have the device files to select and scan. Actions are some advanced features to extract text, capture tables, read aloud, get contact card details and scan QR codes. Tap those three dots to access the options. Check the resolution to ensure that the best quality is picked. This is the flash to take photos in low light. This small button is to access all the images on your device. Lastly, go to home to see all your scans. If you want to save scans to your OneDrive account, you must log in. If you haven't already done so, then click those three dots and then go to the settings and then go to accounts and privacy. Log in to your Microsoft account to save the files online. I'm going to scan a document now. The bars are here to guide you but the real magic is when you capture the photo. It automatically sets the crop. It's not the best but it helps a lot. We can also move every corner and from the sides to crop the scan perfectly. The top toggle lets you adjust the border for each scan. I will leave it turned on. Once the first page is scanned, this screen shows up. We can add more pages with this add option. Let's go to the filters and find the perfect one. There are a few here to try but the one I like is document. It brightens the page. If the photo is not properly cropped, we can click crop and crop it. Tap more to see more details. The ink is to draw on the image. This is good for reviewing notes and adding comments. Then we can add some text. This is again for reviewing and commenting. We can adjust the text style and place it anywhere we want. Lastly, swipe up this bar or tap options to adjust the scan quality. I'm going to add a few more pages to it. This time it won't go to the review screen automatically. Just scan the page, adjust the crop and repeat. Once completed, tap the arrow to review. The filter that we applied before is applied to every page. Changing it will affect all the pages. We have an issue with the corners. They don't look scanned. The best way to fix it is to unpin the document and scan every page or we can draw white in that corner. So we are ready to save it. Tap done. Lens has a few formats and we can select one or multiple. First let's change the name on the top. Under each format we get to see where the document is being saved. Tap on it to switch between the drive and the phone. I always have one drive picked so that I have the documents in case something happens to the phone or I want the files on a different device. Tap save to save it. Here we go. We have all the formats here. The top is the PDF. We can open it right away. Sharing it is also possible. Let's see the actions now. This will extract the text. Hit capture and then set the size. It doesn't recognize the handwriting properly but the printed text is almost accurate. Copy it or share it without leaving the app. We can also extract the contact details from a card but I don't have any so I can't show you in this video. It can also read the text. Either scan it here or click this button from the save screen and it will start reading. I will try to scan a card now. I have my license here and I will scan it in the business card option. Those features are mostly the same except the app crops them better. We can also try the whiteboard to take notes. Anyway, this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and support and stay active. Catch you next time.